and spend a day together, shall we? I'm actually a clown. It's going to be three days, lol. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for keeping up with my content. And today is a bit of a weird one. Um, I want to try to film a whole day with me. It's not a very exciting day to be honest, but I want to translate it into a reading vlog, a very cozy day where we get things done, but at the same time, very cozy. And also, as you may see, there's a little special um, announcement to make. The company Udi, so the original company that made these fantastic hoodie blankets, basically, they contacted me to send me one of their products and try it out um, throughout, you know, a whole day of vlogging or reading or, you know, just to make the whole experience more cozy. And today we're going to review it and try it on. I've already tried it yesterday. And I mean, I fell in love with it. This is the coziest, most comfortable thing I've ever tried. I've tried many others of, you know, competitors online on Amazon or from Primark and all those brands. And you can feel the difference. This is really long. This is um, very thick as well, very warm and cozy. And it just doesn't feel plasticky. Um, and also the range of prints it's amazing. I got this one with little sausage doggles everywhere. <laughs> it's quite nice. And it comes with this humongous hoodie. And I literally spent hours yesterday just reading and just cuddling into this beautiful hoodie. Um, I'm going to attach a little clip of myself, like full body, just to see how long this is. But this is absolutely amazing, and I'm really happy to have been gifted this one. Um, and, and, and in fact, I actually have a discount code for you as well if you want to try these on, because usually prices are, you know, of course, like the quality is higher, so the prices are a bit higher, but I have an amazing discount for you, and it's just down below there. So, and uh, we're just gonna try it throughout the day, and I'm going to talk about a little bit of, um, makeup products that I enjoyed recently, some beauty essentials that I really enjoy and just take you through my routine. This is now nine in the morning, there's my cat playing in the background so if you hear rustling that is why. Right, let's get ready. Um, so for my, usually beauty wise for my base I always go for um, an SPF all the time and my favourite one is the um, ultraviolet uh, ultraviolet SPF 50 adds that moisturizing level to your skin that usually um, these kind of creams don't give and also it doesn't give a white cast because it's skin white basically so when I want to do these sort of light bases I usually go for the rare beauty moisturizer tinted moisturizer and I just do this this video is going to be very much rare beauty orientated because um, they're a beautiful brand and I feel like they deserve all the hype they have it's just very high quality the prices are not very high anyway so I think it's a really good compromise for anyone who's into beauty in general and that is why I now will use a little bit of concealer not too much and I use the NARS creamy radiant and Chantilly. And while I'm blending out, I just wanted to have a chat about, um, you know, some bookish things. I am now reading um, The Priory of the Orange Tree, and this is what this vlog is going to be about. So we'll talk about this book a little bit and we'll read it through. I won't be able to finish it because if anyone knows what book I'm talking about, that book is like 900 pages, so not possible. But it's so far i'm liking it i'm liking it a lot it's just it takes a long time to read because i feel like the world building is so detailed 
um, that basically it just takes me so long to go through all the pages because there are so many names and locations that I really want to make sure that I understand what's going on. Um, but apart from that, it's just gorgeous the way it's written now. I'm just transported back to that place every single time. And by the way, I'm using now the uh, Beauty Under Eye um, Illuminator, basically just down there. I feel like this one is not really concealer. You can use it as a concealer, but it doesn't really conceal anything. It just brightens up the under eye. And the difference is actually really amazing. I'll just show you on one eye. I just, and this is metal, so it's so refreshing. And with my finger, I just pat. I usually go with my ring finger because it's the most delicate and I don't know if you can see it on camera let me just see but it just gives that oomph <laughs> to your eye and so yeah I'm just reading that book at the moment um there are so many others that I want to read because for example yesterday uh there was the release of the no actually was it yesterday no two days ago it was the release of Hellbent which is the sequel of the ninth house um, which is a book that I actually really really enjoyed last year um, and it was probably in my top 10 from 2022 so I'm really excited to read it but I'm trying to control myself not to skip from one book to the other because then I'll just leave it not because I don't like it but because I just forget to pick it up and then I forget what happened in uh, you know the beginning of the story and it's just not nice so now we're just powder a little bit and I'm using this under eye powder which is this one here by Pat McGrath um, and I basically just swirl my brush in there and just tap, 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 like that. I'm now using a Fenty Beauty stick just for my contour. This is the one in amber and I'll just, there we go. I use basically, when I want to do some very light makeup, I use this instead of a bronzer. Um, cause I feel like it does a little bit more and I really like the shade as well. When you're pale as me, that works really well. Another thing that I wanted to talk about the uh, book community, basically, it's regarding the whole, how many books I read this year. I felt like that was very toxic. That wasn't what I stand for, for this community. I created this channel just to, you know, talk about things and be inspired and find that spark again in literature and imagination and everything like that and then i just go on tiktok and i see these people just saying this year this year i read 350 books but i'm like okay fair enough but i know that you want to recommend the ones that you enjoy but then again why do you have to make it a challenge um it's just it's just non-productive. It just makes people more anxious about reading, I guess. And that is not what I'm all about. You don't have to make it a contest between people who can read more, who can read less. Cause sometimes, you know, you want to read thicker books and that is okay. Sometimes you don't want to read and that is even more okay. And now I'm just switching to blush. I'm using my Glossier blush in uh, Spark. This is a red blush. I love red blushes. And let me know if you'd like to see more beauty related content um because i really enjoy making it um but you know i'm trying to juggle between all the things i enjoy and in the meantime also finding a job <laughs> so <laughs> that is not very easy just finish it off with some mascara i'm using this size up by sephora and it's it's really good actually the only thing i feel like this one didn't came with a stopper so i have clumps of mascara coming out but my lashes just go all the way to the top also, one thing that I forgot to mention is that today, this might sound very bougie, but I'm, I'm really not bougie at all. <laughs> um, I found out that there is a meditation studio, like one of those super nice meditation studios, just around the corner from where I live. Uh, so I was like, let's just treat myself and book a session in there. In the, so I'm going to my meditation class. <laughs> Uh, to try to see if it might help um, the anxiety that I've been feeling lately because that wasn't fun. After that, tonight, we're just going to edit this video and read, read a lot. So I'm just, finish ev I'm just finishing everything off with this little tiny, how do you call it? It's like a lip stain, but it's something between a gloss and a lip stain. And I got this in a beautiful Korean beauty store in central London, it's called Pure Soul. 
um, it's it's really amazing. It's got so many things, and they had this little these little minis coming together. It's a beautiful, cool tone red tint that I just dab on my lips, and it just gives that flush of color when I don't want to put on a lot of makeup. Let's see. It looks really nice. Now we're just gonna fix the hair because the situation here is a bit complicated. I'm just so proud of my hair to be honest because during the pandemic I bleached it completely by myself. Four rounds of bleach Bratmondo, four rounds of bleach. Uh, oh, box bleach as well. Um, so it just started falling basically and it started breaking and I had no hair left. Uh, so I cut them really short, but like I'm talking about like like pixie cut short, and I just decided to grow them, grow them out again, and this is what my natural hair looks like, and it's just so soft, and I I spent so much money on it, just like taking care of it with the right products as well, but it's so worth it because I've never had more, you know, like silky and you know nice hair i just i really like it hello friends so this is like probably a day and a half after my last update. So this is turning into a weekend vlog, I guess. Um, but I just had a friend over from Italy. She's a very close friend of mine and I was very happy just to show her around and I had a great time. For the first time in a while, I actually went out in the evening, had a drink. They gave me a free glass of champagne, which was so fancy, but I actually found out that I really like champagne. I don't drink alcohol in general so um that, that was very weird i wasn't expecting that but yeah it's been a great weekend now it's sunday afternoon it's about 2 p.m and i just had the longest walk um just because my partner is away he's playing golf i know um <laughs> but i just had a little a little walk around here so i went to i live close to chelsea in london so I just went through there, went through the park, and I stopped in Waterstones as well. Because um, I love the book I'm reading. So The Priory of the Orange Tree. My cat is crunching. Hang on. Hey, baby. Oh. Oh. Oh, she said observed. Okay. Oh, there she is. Oh. That's a bit crunch. I should probably open something like a ASMR channel just with my cat um, eating while I record her with my microphone. <laughs> that would be something nice. But anyway. Uh, so yeah, so the Priory of the Orange Tree. It's monumental. <laughs> when I say... I was expecting something like that from that book, but I don't think to that level. I think it was going to be something more like a high fantasy, but like a very well crafted one. But this is, this is epic. This is like a full on epic book that has many, 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 many pages. And I feel like I want to have a break now because I don't want to get bored of it. Not that I can get bored of it, but if you know what I mean, like it's very, it's very, very long and I really love the story and I don't want to spoil it just because I want to arrive at the end of the book and just say, oh, you know, um, I wish I read something smaller than that. So I went to Waterstones and just had a browse around and I was like, why don't we choose something to read today and just finish tonight? Um, just, to, just to have a little break from the Priory and then I'll finish it probably in the next two days because I'm 50% in. Um, and by the way, the characters, oh my God. It's a, it's like an all-female Lord of the Rings, but like with a sort of feminist element to it. 
I love them all so much. Um, and I don't know, I'm getting weird vibes from it. So I feel like it can get very, not spicy, but probably more queer-ish. We'll see, hopefully. Uh, but yeah, so I picked up a book that's completely different from the Priory. And it's a very hyped up book, very. So I don't really go for hyped up books, but I wanted to read something completely different, weird, very weird. So, hang on, drum roll. I picked up Bunny. <laughs> I picked up Bunny from Mono Ward. And um, this book, I'm not sure what I'm going into because I read reviews and they're like 50-50. So half of them, it's like, oh, this is the funniest, weirdest book I've ever read. And then other reviews are like, this is the ugliest book I have ever read. Um, so I don't know where I'll be. Hopefully I'll be in the middle uh, because that is exactly what I want to read. So I don't expect anything less than that. Um, I expect witness. I expect um, mean girls meet Stephen King meet uh, horror, teen, scream, whatever. Uh, <laughs> hopefully it's going to be like that. And I think I'm going to finish it tonight. So just something like, like a Sunday reading in the afternoon. I'm just going to have a snack, read this. I'll probably put my Udi back on just to have maximum comfort. And I give you my full on review of how, what it feels like to read in an Udi and with a cup of tea, some treats and everything. I feel like I'm, I'm just treating myself too well. I don't know why, but it, this is my recharging before Monday. This is Sunday. We allow that to happen. <laughs> so update about Bunny. I finished the book. It's really, really easy to read. Oh my goodness, you just fly through those pages. I think, I think now I get why the reviews of this book are always um, either you love it or you hate it. And I think... I loved it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. Uh, because I feel like this book, it's mainly satire. Satire for literature, everything that revolves around literature, dark academia, and, you know, just academia itself. So that's why I don't really understand why people describe it as a dark academia book, which is it's literally the opposite of it like the whole thing it's basically satire of people who are pretentious and who want to create and show the world you know they're sort of i'm better than you because i create something and i write something that is just above anything that you will be able to understand that i'm special and I think this is what makes this book so good. There were some little things that just made me cackle. I was dying. It, it, it's actually really, it's actually really funny. I'm probably gonna give it like a 3.75 stars. 3.75, like probably we can turn it to four if we're good. <laughs> um, it, it's just, it, it was a trip. Like it's really weird. It's so strange. And sometimes I was even like, where do you want to go with this? But then again, I have a theory. So if you haven't read the book, please skip. But three, two, one. Okay, we're going to the spoiler. I think Samantha, at the end of the book, she actually says that she suffers from schizophrenia or, or something like that. And maybe the whole thing was a trip in her head because she, or maybe she wasn't even at school, or maybe I read some things that the school is actually a mental asylum, or it, it's kind of weird, because she mentioned a couple of things that just ring a bell in my head, like, um, for example, when she's on the bus and she sees this woman going through a book uh, about schizophrenia, and she's just saying, oh, I've got this, I've got this, I've got this, so she lists some symptoms about it, and I feel like it's, and, and then again, also her friend Ava, she just disappears and then she just appears when she needs her. And then she's like, oh, I was looking for her. I was looking for you. No, actually I was looking for you. And then she sort of transforms into her mother. I think she appears just when she actually needs her. So there's a lot of 
there's like so many layers to the story and it's, it's just not easy to understand so I, I get why people who've never been into academia or literature academia they probably would not understand this and so many puns about it they were just mm, I loved I actually loved it it's such a good weekend read so yeah just I, I think everyone and their moms actually picked this one up but still try to give it a read considering what I actually said about the story it's, that's that was very productive um so I read like a book and a half in a weekend so nice my next one is probably going to be just finishing the priory and then i've got hellbent baby i cannot wait um just to finish off with the final thoughts on the udi that i'm wearing if you're an avid reader pick it up please because this is just the comfiest comfiest thing I've ever worn and I feel like every time that I was coming back home and it was chilly outside I was ju just looking forward to wearing this one and I'm not even I'm not even being paid to say this like absolutely I'm not paid for this um but this is just this just so comfy and it really helped me with anxiety sometimes as well because I just hide in the hoodie and it just calms me down I also wanted to show this little um aesthetic thing that I just made hang on so we have the books that I wanted to talk about I just came back from climbing I just promised myself that I wanted to do new things every day or at least every day to improve my mental health this year and today I went bouldering like I went climbing and I am low-key scared of heights. I'm, I'm scared of falling and losing control of my body. And I think anyone with panic attacks can actually understand what I'm trying to say. And it was actually so much fun. And then this little plate from a tea set that I got from Anthropology. I might, I might actually just show that in the next video because I, I, I really like, I really like showing things that are very, you know, cozy when you read or cozy when you just cozy. There you go. And then this pastry that I just made. So it's just pastry, just rolled up, and there are apples and some jam on top. So yeah, it's very tasty. Let me know if you read any of these books and I'll see you soon for my next reviews or videos or or I'll see where my inspiration will go. Yeah, anyway, too much of me rambling about many different things. I'll see you soon and thank you so much for coming with me in this vlog. Bye!